Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna see introduction to authentication and this is gonna be a theoretical part. Okay, so we will implement auth token authentication in next video, but this is very important video. Okay, so first let us understand token authentication. So token authentication is another type of authentication mechanism in Django Rash framework that allows a client to authenticate themselves by providing a token in HTTP request header. Okay, now in token authentication, the clients first makes the request to the server with the username and password same as the basic authentication which we implemented in the previous video and here the process changes so if the credentials are valid the server generates a token and send it back to the client the client then includes the token in the authorization header of subsequent requests okay so whenever user will basically uh, request to any particular page he will need token if that uh, particular page is protected okay and uh, then upon receiving the request the server verifies the token against the token database and uh, if the token is valid the server will basically return the res uh, request to response otherwise it is just gonna return the 401 authorization error response okay so in Django Rest framework the token authentication is implemented using token authentication class okay if you remember in previous video we added basic authentication in settings.py or you can also implement you can also implement same basic authentication or token authentication in individual classes okay the class name remains same but you need to import it okay so instead of basic authentication we will use token authentication when we implement it okay and the authentication classes are provided as inbuilt authentication classes in the django rest framework which we can add in views or view sets okay so i hope you got idea about the token authentication now let's discuss how we are going to implement it okay so first we will configure the token authentication and uh, then i am just going to create tokens manually okay after that we will create login and sign up uh, views wh where user can log in or sign up and the token will be generated automatically for the user and it will return in the json response okay so when the user first log in or create their account the token will be generated in the database and it will be stored in the database okay and when the user once log out from the website the token will be deleted and when the same user will log in again the new token will be generated for him or her okay so this is the initial step which we are gonna follow and yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you